name is Jessica. I'm a librarian here at the Warren Newport Public Library. Today I'm going to talk about The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay. So this is the story of 1980s Chicago. Yale Tishman is a young guy who's recently graduated college and he is the art director of a um, art program and so he needs to have a bunch of art donated and you know he needs to find basically pieces. This is his job. Um, so we sort of follow his career and this book is juxtapositioned with contemporary day Paris which sort of wraps together the story of his art and a couple of the things that are going on. But that's not the storyline I want to talk about. The storyline I want to talk about is what else is happening in Yale's life. You see, Yale is a young gay man in Chicago during the AIDS epidemic. And what's happening is he has this large circle of friends that are literally dying one after another. He is seeing his circle of friends dwindle by the month. It's horrifying and he feels almost like a ticking time bomb. Um, this has so much insight into what was happening in Chicago and in large cities during the AIDS epidemic, P politically, um, in society, and, and basically why the gay community you know, wasn't a priority at that time, or at least that's the argument that the author makes. I learned so much about what was happening um, during the AIDS epidemic and we had a discussion of this book every single person in the, in the room learned something and was affected by this story. Um, this book was a finalist for both the Pulitzer and the National Book Award and it is really well deserved. In addition, Rebecca Mackay is a local author and that always makes for a great story because there's wonderful landmarks in the book and it just feels local. I hope that you will check this book out for a variety of reasons. It's called The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay.